Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be showing you how to use the bank feeds function to automate or make your life a little bit easier when you're doing the bank rec in Myob. So we are here in the sample file, Clearwater Plus. Uh, this is a read-only file in the later versions of Myob, so we're not actually able to process transactions. We can only look at what's already in there, but hopefully we'll be able to show you enough to give you a solid idea of how everything works. All right, so the first thing to do is to go to the banking module and then bank feeds. Now, just before we jump in there, the traditional way of doing a reconciliation in Myob is directly through the reconcile accounts function. So this is where you uh, match your uh, transactions directly to your bank statement. And I did make a video about this earlier, so if you're interested in that, you can go click on the link up above there. Um, this step here isn't redundant. We still do have to come back to this, but the process is a little more streamlined and a little bit different. So what we do now, if we're going to utilize the bank feeds, is we click on the bank feeds button here, and here we are. And basically everything we see here is a line of the bank statement. And our bank statement here, our general account one, is linked directly to our bank account. So that's um, all set up in the background and every time a transaction happens, then the next day the transaction will appear in the bank feed here in Myob. And anything in this list here is stuff that has not been reconciled. So if everything were reconciled, there would be nothing showing here. So what we have here, you can see there's some uh, uh, items here that have the find button and the new button, and you'll see some that have the green approved button ready to go. The ones that have the green approved button ready to go, we've got one down here. It's got a bank rule applied, so it's automatically matched this uh, bank fee up to, to a bank fees bank rule. So you can pretty much click approve there if you're happy with that and you can have the chance to undo it as well. But now if we close this and then we went back in, you would notice that it's gone. So it's disappeared from the list. It's done, it's dealt with. And we also have, uh, what do we got here? A bank deposit and an electronic payment. So the reasons that these have been uh, marked as green is that the system has already matched them up with a, a transaction that's already been processed. So we got a bulk bank deposit here, 199.53. Let's have a look at that. So we can see here there was a bank deposit made and it went to the sales account. So we can approve that. We're happy with that. And the same with the electronic payment batch. If we're happy with that, we can approve that. Let's have a look. So this was advertising and we'll approve that because we are happy with that. Now, with everything else, we have two options here. We have find or we have new. Now for the find button, this is for items or transactions that have already been processed in Myob. So for that, we might have a payroll item that's been processed already and the transaction recorded. You might have a pay super item where the transaction's been recorded for the through the pay super module. Um, you might also have spend monies and receive monies um, that have already been processed but not matched up, so it's not saying approve. Or you might have a pay bill or a pay invoice for income that has um, already been processed but not matched up. So when that is the case, you'll click on find. You can you got the dollar amount here. You got the date. You can open up the dates and um, you can do a search. Click on the update to do a search. When it finds it, it'll show it down here. If it's not showing down here, that means either your search criteria is wrong or it hasn't been processed. So payroll, like I said, is common for that. Uh, super will be the same if you've processed it through the pay super module and any uh, other um, transactions that have already that you know have been processed in Myob, you can do the find function here to match them up. For stuff that has not been processed through Myob, so say you got some spend monies, some bill payments and things like that that you are entering direct off the bank statement right now through the bank feed, you haven't actually entered it through Myob previously, for that we'll go new. 
So what have we got here? Mountain Spring. Let's say we need to do a new spend money for that. And you can enter in all the details, enter in the card name if applicable. If not, you don't have to use a card. Or you can say it's other general expenses, GST. And there would normally be a an OK button down here or a record button to finalize it. We can't do it because it's read only, as you see there. So we'll just close out of it. But when if we did process that transaction, if we weren't in read only mode, it then would have gone to that green approve button and we could click approve. Now, if we had a spend money, building in a hardware store limited, we can go new receive money, put it to a sales account and process it. And then you'd click on the green approve button like that. Now, if it was a bill payment, let's say this insurance company here, or what else do we have? Houston, Huston and Huston. Let's say this is a payment of a bill. Uh, the payment's been made, as you can see here, the transaction hasn't been recorded, so we have to do a new pay bill transaction. So we'll go new pay bill. The supplier, Huston and Huston, we'll type it in, there it is. And we can see there's four outstanding transactions here. So we've paid 228.23. So this looks like it was made, it's a funny amount that doesn't really match up to anything. So let's just say what we need to do here is we're gonna apply it to the oldest invoice first for the sake of the transaction. And we can see out of balance 113. We'll apply 75 there, that's done. Out of balance 5803. And there'll be 5803 there. So part of this bill will be remaining and all of this bill will be remaining and you'd click OK to record that and then you'd click Approve. You can also do transfer money. So let's uh, see if we can find a good example. Let's say that this amount here, it says it's an ATM cash withdrawal, but we're going to pretend it's actually a transfer to our other bank account. So we're going to go uh, new transfer money and it's going from the number one bank account, that's the bank account that we're working on, to the number two bank account. Or actually what would be a better example because it is an ATM cash withdrawal, it'd be a transfer to petty cash. And then you'd okay that. The button will go green to approve and you'd click on approve. You can also do transaction rules and bill rules. So a transaction rule is basically uh, like a bank rule, if you're familiar with zero, where you can set up a rule to uh, look for certain criteria to sort of automate a transaction. I won't go into detail on that in this video, we'll cover that in a different video. You can also do invoice rule, the income or bill rule for purchases. So you work your way down the list, all the transactions for the month that you're reconciling or the period that you're reconciling. Once everything has been done, if everything is gone from your list for the period that you're reconciling, you will then control tab over to uh, your command center and go to reconcile accounts. Now, if you were reconciling the month of May, we can see here it's reconciled to the end of April. If we were doing the month of May now in the bank feeds, you'd click in, you'd put in the, the month, you would put in the closing bank statement per the bank balance on the 31st of May. And what should happen in theory, if everything here has been entered and matched off against your bank statement and your transactions in Myob, and providing you haven't gone and done any duplicate entries or done any other spend monies and receive monies and things like that that were not picked up using the find function so that there's not uh, you know unmatched items floating around in the system, provided everything had been done correctly and nice and neat, you should, in theory, be able to click this and your out of balance will go to zero. 
providing this here is the closing balance on your bank statement at this date. And then you'd be able to click the reconcile button. That is the beauty of using bank feeds. Working straight off the bank statement, you can still do stuff beforehand, but then you're using the fine instead of the new. And then once everything's done here, and if you haven't entered any other stuff that hasn't been picked up, then you can pretty much just go in here, select all, and it should all match up. It can be a very quick process that saves you having to go through your bank statement line by line. Of course, if it doesn't match up, then you're still going to have to go through your bank statement line by line to find the find the offender and uh, pull him into line. But providing everything has been done, then you can save yourself a lot of time. So it's pretty good like that. So that's about it for the video, guys. I hope I've shown you here how to use the bank rules function and how to automate and save a lot of time when it comes to doing the actual bank rec through the main module. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments down below if you want to book in a training session. We specialize in Myob, Zero, and other accounting packages. That's our bread and butter. We also do other business software. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the video. We'll catch you later.